Fourier transform of triangular pulse. This is the triangu triangular pulse shown in figure. Its width is 2t and its peak amplitude is a. This triangular pulse is basically combination of uh, straight lines. Here slope of straight line from minus infinity to minus t slope of straight line is 0 because it is horizontal line. From plus t to infinite slope is z 0 again. And from minus t to 0 slope is increasing and uh, we can find out this slo slope of this line through this right angle triangle. Perpendicular is A and base is T. So slope is plus A by T. And from 0 to T slope is negative because the value of XT is decreasing. And the slope is negative A by T because perpendicular is A and base is T. So slope is negative A by T. And this xt is, we can see that it, this xt is symmetrical signal or symmetrical function because it is symmetrical about vertical axis or this xt is even function because if we fold this xt, then we will get the same signal. So x of minus t is xt here. That's why this xt is even function or symmetrical function. Now we can write the expression for this xt which is combination of straight lines and to write the equation of straight line we will use the equation of straight line y equal to mx plus c in y axis or vertical axis we have xt in horizontal axis we have t m is the slope of line and c is the intercept on y axis or vertical axis so um, from minus t to plus t the equation of line is uh, slope of line is plus a by t and then t and intercept intercept on y axis is a this is the equation of uh, straight line from minus t to 0 and from 0 to t slope is minus a by t and intercept on y axis is plus a this is equation of straight line from 0 to t and this xt is 0 otherwise so we can write this uh, expression like this also xt is a by t into mod t plus a from minus t to plus t and 0 otherwise. And there is one more representation of this uh, triangular pulse. It is a tri t by capital T where a is the peak amplitude of uh, xt and uh, this t is the the half of the width of the triangular pulse the width of triangular triangular pulse here is 2t and this is half of that uh, pulse width t or this can also be represented as a and this is the symbol for triangular pulse t by t now we have to find out the Fourier transform of this triangular pulse. We know that the Fourier transform x omega is integration of xt e to the power minus g omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. So let us substitute xt here which is a tri t by t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now this e to the power j omega t can be written as cos omega t minus j sin omega t. So the expression for this uh, x omega is now 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए ट्राई टी बाय टी कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस जे इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए ट्राई टी बाय टी साइन ओमेगा टी नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस ट्रायंगुलर पल्स इज इवन फंक्शन एंड दिस कॉस कॉस ओमेगा टी इज आल्सो इवन फंक्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इवन एंड इवन इज इवन सिग्नल और इवन फंक्शन सो दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इवन इन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ट्रायंगुलर पल्स इज इवन एंड दिस साइन ओमेगा टी इज ऑट फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम एंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इवन एंड ऑट फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज ऑट फंक्शन सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ऑट फंक्शन फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी हैज टू बी जीरो सो वी कैन नेग्लेक्ट वी कैन इग्नोर द सेकेंड पार्ट बिकॉज इट इज जीरो नाउ द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी कैन राइट द फर्स्ट पार्ट एज ट्वाइस ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस ट्रैंगुलर पल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी and from 0 to infinity this uh, triangular pulse is minus a by t t plus a and then cos omega t dt now we have to integrate this uh, function so x omega is 2 into uh, this is first function and cos omega t is second function so first function into integration of second function integration of cos omega t is uh, sin omega t by omega minus integration of differentiation of this first function and differentiation of this first function is minus a by t into integration of second function integration of cos omega t is sin omega t by omega so this is a by t t plus a into sin omega t by omega minus minus is plus a by t omega integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t by omega lower limit of integration is 0 uh, upper limit of integration is t uh, this this limit should be upper limit should be plus t because this line exists for for 0 to t now we will substitute the limits upper limit is capital t so if i put capital t here then minus a plus a becomes zero so the first part is zero and then a by t omega square negative cos omega t now we will substitute zero so sin 0 is 0 so this is minus 0 and 0 here cos 0 is 1 and uh, minus minus plus a by t omega square so x omega is 2 in fact we can take a by t omega square common so this is 1 minus cos omega t and this 1 minus cos omega t can be replaced by uh, 2 sin square omega t by 2 because 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 so x omega x omega is 2a by t omega square into 2 sin square omega t by 2 so we can write these as 2 
in fact 4a t omega square so i put t here in numerator so denominator becomes t omega whole square sin square omega t by 2 or this can be written as a t sin square omega t by 2 divided by omega t by 2 square or x omega is a t sin omega t by 2 divided by omega t by 2 whole square this is the Fourier transform of triangular pulse now here omega is 2 pi f so we can write xf also xf is a t sine uh, omega is 2 pi f so omega t by 2 is uh, t by 2 into 2 pi f or omega t by 2 omega t by 2 can be replaced by pi f t so here we have sine pi f t divided by pi f t whole square now we know that sinc x is sine pi x by pi x so this xf is a t in place of x we have f t so this is uh, sinc f t and square so xf is a t sinc square f t so this is the Fourier transform of triangular pulse now we can draw this uh, xf uh, with respect to frequency sinc ft is sin pi ft by pi ft and this sinc ft is 0 or the 0 crossing points of uh, sinc ft can can be determined by this uh, by making this sin ft sin pi ft 0 and this sin pi ft is 0 where uh, pi ft is multiple of n pi numerically n can take any value from starting from 0 to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on but when n is 0 then uh, frequency is also 0 and when frequency is 0 the value of sync is maximum it is not 0 so we cannot take n equal to 0 we will start n from plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 so f is n by t where n is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on since we have sinc square ft it means all the values of sinc functions are positive no negative values now we can draw this sinc function its value is maximum when frequency is 0 and then its its value is decreasing and it is even function of frequency so symmetrical about vertical axis when frequency frequency is 0 its value is maximum and it is 80 and these are the zero crossing points 1 by t 2 by t 3 by t and so on similarly on the negative side minus 1 by t minus 2 by t minus 3 by t and so on so that's how we find out the Fourier transform of triangular pulse which is sinc square function